Hi, and welcome back. Uh, tonight, not sure what we're going to do on the Bronco just yet. Uh, we can tell we have two, uh, at least be one mobile kind of bar for my wife's business, and we split it in half to make two. And I think we started yesterday and put a, say, about four hours in, and then another. eight hours in a day and we almost got them both done but uh i'll show you around in a minute but there's a lot of cleanup i need to do before we start on this uh so i'm gonna kind of show you what it looks like now and uh, what we what we've done and then uh then we'll come back to the bronco i'm gonna pull it out i think i think i might work on body mounts trying to get them out and uh if we get those out see if we can't lift lift it up a little bit maybe try to put some new ones in but i, I don't think i'll get well if you saw that there's a mouse that just ran right through there anyways uh if we make it that far where we're going to actually install them then that'd be great but I don't, I don't know if we get that far tonight or not but uh i'm gonna work on that and I don't know what else. I know there's a lot, a lot we need to do, but uh, we'll just work on getting the body mounts out and and then might look at the pan again. I'm still kind of him hauling around with what to do about that. But anyways, uh, I'll show you around what we did on this. I didn't film anything. It's kind of just want to get it in and get it done to get it out of the garage type of thing. So. Uh, Anyways, I'll show you and then we'll, uh, then I'll clean it up and then we'll start on that. Hmm. You hear my neighbor mowing in the back background. Sorry if that bothers anybody, but, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but this be, used to be one complete bar. I used to have, you know, the classic bar and, uh, X in it, but, uh, she wanted two separate ones because it was getting kind of heavy and kind of just too big to move around. So we uh, dropped it in half more or less. And I think she's gonna leave the cabinets open. This is what uh, the one looks like when it's done. Which is, I think it came out pretty good. But you, know, you can tell I got a mess. All the way in here and over there's my chop saw but uh like i said i'm gonna pick this up uh probably gonna move these bars along the back here by the door and uh that way we have room for the bronco to come out and we'll uh i think i'll start with the front too so we might pull the front end this way and uh, see see how we can get those out. Anyways, I'm gonna stop the video here and uh, try to pick this up a little bit.
if uh, any of y'all have an older car, there's no mistaking the the smell. If, uh, it brings back memories of high school and everything else, but uh, it it seems to be running all right. Uh, ran for a little bit, not not too terribly long. Uh, I was kind of pointing out all the uh, imperfections, stuff that needs to be fixed. Has uh, a lot of rust, especially in the uh, I guess the top of the car and around the windows, especially the back window and around the tail lights, and. Uh, guy we got to do the body work on it before just put new panels over old panels that are already rusted so i know the back quarters need to be replaced as well as probably the front ones or the front fenders maybe i'm not, I'm not sure maybe the lower quarter or lower fender part but uh anyways there's a lot more that needs work than that uh that's just some spots that i just noticed walking around but uh like i said before my dad bought that new in 78 have all the original paperwork that came with it, like the bill of sale and the, even the paper tag. So that one I'm gonna probably keep for, for now on. I'm gonna try to fix it eventually. Uh, either when the Bronco's out or if I ever get me a bigger bigger shop, which I'm wanting to put one back there where that back barn is, but uh, I still uh, ways away probably a long time away but uh anyways uh that's one of the projects we'll get to eventually if, if you notice i pointed up the tire the uh front has like a i want to say a two inch lift or something on it but uh we got these turn you around right there those are the uh stock springs and we got the shocks new shocks put in it and new uh get your turn. new bushings as well so i got almost everything to uh redo the front end i just need to get some time to do it uh, like i said i was going to try to do it this uh summer and drive it to car shows and such but with covid and everything there haven't been really any car shows around here and as you can tell my uh windshield's busted so I don't want to replace it until I can fix the uh, rust around the window. And probably not gonna bring it in here and do that because I figure that'd be kind of a intensive project and I want to get the Bronco back on the road. So this will probably get done before anything else. But uh, I still got some more cleaning to do. I just thought we'd do that since there's wife and kids are gone and uh, still daylight outside. So I'm gonna finish picking up and then we'll uh, pull the Bronco out and uh, rest with it for a little bit. Well, my plans kind of changed for this evening. I don't have long to be out in the garage. Uh, a couple things I forgot to do that I need to get done before tomorrow. So, uh, can't really, uh, I'm not gonna work on the Bronco tonight, but I guess you noticed the title of the video was uh, not Bronco related, so, uh, and two, uh, don't want to sound, uh, like, uh, poor pitiful me, but, uh, my back's starting to hurt a little bit, doing a lot of bending over, messing with, uh, the wife's bar and stuff, and getting underneath, and I don't know, I just, uh, lower back's just kind of bothering me right now, so, I don't, I don't think I want to get up underneath the, uh, Bronco on that concrete floor tonight i'm the only one here at the house so if i get stuck under there i'm under there for the evening so uh i think i'm gonna cut it short tonight but uh but we will uh start with these front two bumper mount or the body mounts i think that'll do me for tonight i hope everybody had a happy halloween uh my i have two little girls one of them was a vampire and uh it's pretty scary looking. I'd like to scare her little sister. And her little sister had a, a cheetah outfit and we put it on and she wasn't having it. So she didn't have a costume. But uh, we took them around town and actually went door to door and uh, they had a good time. 
there's a lot of people, a lot of people out, a lot of people still getting candy, so I was happy to see that. I was afraid that it'd just be a ghost town, but uh, anyways, yeah, I hope everybody had a wonderful Halloween, ha Halloween, and uh, I think up next is Thanksgiving, so I'm ready for that. Thank you for watching. Uh, sorry about the lack of content today. Like I said, I got to finish a few things before work tomorrow, and kind of just want to sit down and relax for a little bit after being out here all day messing with those. Uh, but we did start the Camaro. That's why, you know, I'm going to title this video something about the Camaro, so I don't want nobody to think that I was just kind of stiffy on the Bronco. But uh, anyways, if you like, like what you see, I post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, usually something with the Bronco, but I mean... This one's about the Camaro. I need to start the Healy up back there. You can't see it at all. Bronco's in it. But, but I got a 65 Austin Healy. We need to start that up. and uh, Or at least just turn it over. And uh, anyways, yeah, if you like what, what you see, uh, best thing they can do is please like, comment, and subscribe. It really, really helps me out. Like I said before, I never thought I'd get uh, 135 subscribers. I thought I'd be lucky enough to get, you know, just a handful. But uh, I really like the community that's coming about. Uh, a lot of people are really, really helpful, and uh, I really appreciate it. And on that note, I'll uh, see you on the next.